Hi everyone, how are you doing? It's Princess Brittany and if you're watching this video, I just want to say thank you for tuning in. Um, I've been very quiet lately and um, a lot of it at first was really about self-care. Really just focusing on creating the healthiest environment for my kids and I. But it's not about self-care anymore, only self-care anymore. It's now a lot of my silence is intimidation. Um, and I can't take it anymore. I have reached my breaking point where I can't just be quiet about what I'm going through anymore. And a lot of it is because of... <clears throat> a lot of it is because of... The person that you guys know as LeBron James. LeBron is not who you think he is. Um, and I've decided that I'm going to keep making these videos to expose the truth about him. Um, and hopefully it will reach the right ears. LeBron is very dangerous. He's very vindictive. He's very mean. And... Um, the the things that I'm enduring right now, I don't deserve. I haven't ever done anything wrong to him. And in fact, upon, you know, us first being acquainted, all I did was help him, really. And this was before the fame and NBA contracts and things like that. And so it is very... Uh, disappointing that I'm going through this I am strong I am empowered but I am being intimidated um he's trying to break my spirit he's trying to do everything he can to manipulate my medical care to intimidate doctors to um you know hurt my children to hurt me it's really a scary situation y'all there was a point a few weeks ago it hasn't even been a month ago just a few weeks ago where my life flashed before my eyes <sighs> i'm not gonna explain what happened but it was a very scary and dangerous situation because of lebron and him interfering with my medical care and me being able to have access to doctors. I was in a very, very um, dangerous situation. And I spent so much money on being able to get to the best medical care possible. And he sabotaged it. And... Um, it is continuing and I I feel like it's not right that a person just because they have money and power can just treat you like a doormat because they're jealous or they don't like you or they hate their own life you know um, I really don't complain a lot when I go through things typically I just go through it and I deal with it, but that has to stop. People have been telling me that I've been too nice about this. I've been way too nice. And it's not just LeBron. LeBron will turn everybody he can possibly turn against me, whether it be family or friends, until I have nobody at all. You know, he just wants to take everything away from me. And, you know, that has been going on for a very long time. And I've been dealing with it in silence and just pushing through it with my head down, staying humble and not being a victim. Well, the truth is I am a victim of his abuse. And right now I am afraid of not having access to medical care. I am afraid of not being able to protect myself 
when it comes to advocating for my health and wellness. I'm afraid of the way he's able to buy people off and put me in danger when it comes to me going to the doctor or intimidate people into doing things against their will. And I have seen for myself these individuals genuinely want to do the right thing, but they are afraid. They are afraid. And I've also seen for myself individuals who take advantage of the situation by willingly going along with what he wants them to do to me. So there's two sides of the coin. And for those of you who have willingly submitted to him, I want you to know that whatever is in the dark will come to the light. Eventually, you may feel like you're getting by now and not being held accountable, but eventually it will be exposed. And if you'll do it to me, He'll do it to you. So I want to make these videos for awareness purposes because I am afraid that my best friend is going through this. He's keeping me from seeing my best friend, speaking to her. He's destroyed both of our families. She's like a sister to me. That is my sister. I love her. I love her as much as I love myself, you know, and it's like, it's very, very intimidating. It's very intimidating that he can get away with this because he's an athlete. And I know that there are people in the world who have goodness left in them. I will not allow LeBron to break my spirit to the point where I do not have faith in people, where I feel hopeless, where I feel like I don't have anyone I can turn to or call on when I'm going through things. I have created an atmosphere in my home that is safe for my children and I. But the one thing that he is able to manipulate is my medical care. Because of my identity being stolen and medical insurance policies being taken out in my name without my permission. Identity theft is very real. And so through that policy, LeBron and my family members are able to access and manipulate my medical care. And it is very, very dangerous. And I've had enough. I have had enough. I'm a very non-confrontational person. I'm very peaceful. But when it comes to my health and wellness and my children's safety, that's where I draw the line. And so I have to put my foot down and I have to speak up about these things. I know that God has me protected and covered and everything I go through is for a reason. Um, and I am strong and empowered and blessed and highly favored. But I want to have transparency and hold people responsible and accountable for the things that they have done to me. And that begins today. And if you have gone through things because of him as well, I'm praying for you. And I ask that you please continue to keep me and my kids in your prayers as well. Thank you. Be well.